So this was a 57 year old patient who presented with a primary concern of issues with the stability and fit of his existing denture. He'd had all his teeth removed in July 2022 due to extensive periodontal disease had a denture for the past 12 months and was frankly not satisfied with his ability to masticate and chew food and also the impact it was having on his speech as well. So we discussed different options to rehabilitate his occlusion and restore aesthetics and function. These included an all on four prosthesis, zygomatic implants, a combination of zygomatic implants and conventional dental implants or a subperiosteal implant. The main limitations to the placement of conventional implants in this situation was insufficient alveolar bone and extensive pneumatization of the maxillary sinuses bilaterally. After discussion with the patient, we decided to place a maxillary subperiosteal implant, which is produced by Maxonic in Melbourne. This is a, a very minimally invasive surgery as opposed to a conventional dental implant surgery. In terms of surgical time, it takes about 90 minutes to two hours. It negates the need for extensive bone grafting, sinus lifts, and multiple other procedures prior to the placement of the final prosthesis. At the time of the surgery, the main surgical principles are adequate exposure of the maxilla. This involves raising buccal and palatal flaps with a midline relieving incision and two distal relieving incisions. In this situation, we used a custom cutting guide to perform an alveolectomy. The purpose of this was to ensure firstly a nice smooth flat base for the prosthesis but also in the long run to ensure ease of cleansability for the patient. We secure the cutting guide which is made out of titanium to the alveolus using two titanium screws. We use the W and H piezomed to then perform the alveolectomy. In addition to the piezomed this can be done using a round burr and a surgical handpiece such as the S11 handpiece. So after removing the alveolectomy guide, we then insert the patient specific subperiosteal implant. This is secured primarily to the zygomatico maxillary buttress and also the naso maxillary buttress using six and eight millimeter screw lengths. This can be achieved with the W and H straight S11 handpiece and also with the W and H W75 handpiece to the palatal aspect of the maxilla. I try and place as many screws as I possibly can, although the minimum number of screws is 11 to 12 screws. After the implant is seated and the fit of the implant is confirmed, we then close the mucoperiosteal flaps. We try and do this in a tension-free fashion using a 4-0 monocryl suture. The patient's teeth, which have been custom made, are then secured to the denture using biaxial screws and hand tightened to 20 newton centimetres torque. At this point, the occlusion is checked and then the patient is woken up from their surgery. So the main benefits of this surgery, as you would have seen in the video, are the relatively short surgical time. The fact that the patient receives their set of teeth immediately upon waking, and also the surgery negates the need for any other procedures, including augmentation, or sinus lift procedures.